last video I built with the exterior of my new castle. And today in part two, we're decorating the interior. And if you guys want part three, decorating the basement with things like a movie theater, a dungeon, then like the video and subscribe and I will definitely do a part three. Oh my gosh, look at the bills of this place. It's not in any rooms yet. I got bills. So I suppose we should start building stuff. So before we do anything, this is going to be the layout of the downstairs. And this is going to be the layout of the upstairs. And we're literally jumping straight into this with the entryway. But just before we do that, I've got us plenty of decals down here, which are going to help us really enrich the castle. Kind of like when I built my dream house not so long ago. Rather than using the paneling Bloxburg has to offer, I'm going to use my own. And of course, this is a two-story entryway. It's a castle, guys. So we'll start off by resizing this paneling to perfect length. Over here, going into what's going to be the kitchen, I was thinking we should actually have more of an archway. And now, my enemy, Bloxburg glitches. What are you doing here? Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> so to fix this, basically, you get structural traditional beam. And you're definitely going to need the transform tool. And then if we colour it, doesn't that now look ten times better than it did a second ago? Guys, I'm becoming Sia, adding a chandelier so we can swing from it. So, as you can see, the floor's looking very basic, but that's because we're using this marble as custom floor. But before we place that, we have to add in the tables and stuff, because otherwise it won't let me. Hell to the no. So I'm thinking a round table, a few traditional dresses, and also some really helpful girl put her comment on screen now. She commented so many rooms for this castle. So I'm going to try and do as many as she said. And then the trick with filling up dresses is just to put as much as you can on them, really. And what a shame! Got into my inventory. To my surprise, there's no flowers. But that's the advantage to living in a castle. I just have loads of flowers on the property. Voila, we have flowers. So in a regular house, you'd probably have a hat stand in the entryway. I feel like in a castle, that is a little bit like common. Like, that's for the peasants of the kingdom. So for the castle instead, I guess we'll have like a telephone. Because back in the day, only the rich people got the phones. Wait, is this an instrument of communication or torch? Now guys, it is time to do the custom floor. So if I remember correctly, you actually have to use one of these paintings. But you can't use one of these full wall ones. It won't actually work. And I'm sick of walking all the way through the castle to change a decal. That that is the one downside of having a big house. You place it on that small clear cube. And then I sped it up because who the hell wants to see floor being placed? And finally, it is done. I feel like I need the two hours later meme. Two hours later. Now, as nice as custom floor is, and you've got to admit, this does look very original, very grand. It's so tricky, especially when you have stairs and stuff involved. Throwing a few things that this room needs are the finishing touches, i.e. big chunky pillars. And do you know what? I'm feeling crazy. Rather than just having the small panels down here, let's get the big chunky ones. Then goodbye, a musty old default light. Hello, oh, Victor oh, Chandelier. Oh, and these are probably going to be what costs us the most in this video. Because I obviously like like to double them up. So that means each light is eight grand. <gasps> also, these Victorian candles for the wall. Finally, before we can leave this room, I'm getting a couple more of those cubes, if you can even see them down there. And then I think we should have some paintings on the wall because somebody said, hallway filled with portrait of the passed down generations of the crown. And I was like, oh, I didn't know I was royal now. So I guess we're gonna have past pictures of the crown on here. In other words, I'm gonna find a bunch of fancy looking people to put in these paintings. Because right now, Coeptus with his shades and his little baby, uh, it's not quite matching the castle vibe. And is it just me? But I really don't like that default gold. So I'm going to make it linen. <gasps> and then with a snap, we have got some paintings in. So sorry, this guy I accidentally stretched him. He's like, why you stretch me? And also, I don't know if you're allowed real people, but technically these are paintings, Bloxburg. So hope this is okay. And that one is so spooky. And this really is the last thing now. Just some roof beams, which really was just the tip of the iceberg. And next of all, we are going to do the Great Hall. Yes, I know. It feels like we're straight out of a Harry Potter film. Film, doesn't it? I feel like Dumbledore should be coming out shrieking. As you can see, I already added a little bit of a gallery upstairs. So a gallery is the things that old timey houses and castles had. So I thought this was the most perfect space. And this is going to be the equivalent to a normal house's living room. And oh my gosh, Bloxburg, stop with the blue. I do not want the blue. Blue, 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 blue. This was actually inspired from that massively long comment. And by the way, guys, if your comments are you ever using in the videos, I always try to 
credit you. So in here, we're gonna use that paneling again from earlier. And I just realized how expensive it is. I was thinking, oh, 176 dollars, pretty cheap. But you think how many times I'm gonna place that in this video, it's gonna add up. I think that we should maybe have this as the wallpaper. And of course, above the doors, we can just resize it as well. Doesn't this look really nice? Apart from these like little flying saucers, woo! And then for the floor, I definitely don't fancy spending another half an hour of my life doing that custom floor. So instead, I'm going to do custom floor the old fashioned way. We're going to have rings of marble, which sounds very fancy. Rings of marble. That could be what the palace would be called. But actually, no, this is the comment that won. Royal Reese's Flutter Nutter. Just thought I'd remind you of that. This is what a typical great hall looks like. They have a really awesome like corner chair in the middle, which to be honest, I would love to try and build. So they're all at right angles. Look at me with my maths terms. <laughs> that looks like a flower from the top. That's beautiful. You are so beautiful. Anyway, we'll also have a piano in here. And why am I using the classic piano? Let's get the grand piano. <laughs> Builds like this always just have random chairs in the corner. I don't know what it is. And oh my gosh, how plump and comfy does that look as plaid? Rather than green, I prefer royal blue. The whole thing about castles is they're definitely like very empty. However, I've been watching a little bit too much Downton Abbey, which is basically where they live in like this massive castle. And basically in their great hall, there's kind of like a dining table, a little like this. It is filled with a bunch of trays, which like the servants feed them off of. So the great hall can also be where you have a little bit of a tea. And now you think this man is very important. Look how many pictures of him. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly change them. Also, from the outside, can we talk about how nice this is gonna look when all the rooms are in? With a railing so nobody falls down the gallery. That is the great hall. So this bit here is just a little hallway, I just feel. And this bit here is just a hallway I filled in very quickly. This is just like a wholesome little hallway, you know, didn't need anything too spectacular. So you'd think next we'd go through here, which by the way is gonna be an office. However, I know loads of you guys love the kitchen, your little Gordon Ramsay. Ramses, your little Mary Berries at home. Get out of the way. So, this is going to be the kitchen, which of course is attaching to the formal dining room. Now, did I just make that up? Yes. Is this staircase in the wrong place? Also, yes. Am I going to have to fix that now? Yes. Anyway, back into the kitchen after I fixed my mistake. This is huge. I've got a little bit of explaining to do. In old style castles and big houses, they actually didn't have kitchens guys and you might be thinking well how do they eat then they only had servants kitchens which were downstairs in the dungeons so if we do a part three of course i will add them but this is like a bit more of a renovated castle i'm gonna live here and i personally want an upstairs kitchen so therefore that's why i'm adding one i just thought i'd explain it oh it kind of looks like oh, tea for true reese's flutter nutter <laughs> what is flutter nutter like for all i know it could be anything and i'm just saying it over and over again there's one little room in the corner which is gonna be the pantry these tiles are honestly so handy. Now I'm thinking about it. This house is so enormous. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm definitely gonna have to do a part three. Well, if you guys want it anyway. Anywho, we're kind of gonna like block out the windows. I'm sorry. Cool oval shape going on. Over here does appear to be a really good place for maybe tiles. And in a build like this, you kind of need cabinets because otherwise it's gonna look far too empty. We ain't using this cheap oven. How to the no. Hey. To the no, to the no, no. We're using the Pro Chef stove. And grey can be a bit boring, but I think in a grey castle, it's kind of like inevitable. And here's where it's becoming a little bit more modernized, where we have like coffee machines, etc. And then we'll have like a picnic basket ready to go on a nice country picnic out in probably our back garden, which needs a little bit of work. Now look how much more room we have in this kitchen still. So I think I will put a little dining table. Either side will have these Victorian fireplaces. Places. The only thing is with these, I've said it before, you can't change the color of the fire. The only way to really overcome it is to like put lights under the floor. And also, if memory serves, we can actually resize this a little side table. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box, but outside the box is where I live. And isn't it crazy how long it takes to make money in Bloxburg, but how easy and quick you can spend it? A little bit of advice I've been giving lately when doing my dining tables, I always used to make it very neat and organized, but now you're gonna search up tableware and some of you guys might already know this but you're just gonna scatter a bunch of these utensils all over the table to me it just looks a little bit more detailed a little bit more What's the word 
perfect. And I also think this is the perfect opportunity to use our new curtains. So I've only used these once on the channel before, but they are such a good item. And last time I used these, they were very hit and miss. Some of you guys were like, oh, those curtains, Reese's, they slay, slay, slay. Another day, another slay. And some of you guys were repulsed by them. So I'm hoping you like them in this setting. Really, all that's left to do is sprinkle a bunch more counters around the kitchen. And on this island, as you can see, it's looking very, very troubling. So we're going to place down a basic cube. This is one of the oldest tricks in the True Reese's book. And you just resize it completely over the top and then color it the same as it would be. And I almost forgot fridges, guys. You can untype your fridge comments. I know you were putting them. Although to be fair, I've forgotten the fridges so many times before. Also added a dishwasher over here. I thought that would be really fitting for that corner. And I hope some of you guys end up building this because I absolutely adore seeing when you guys do my build. And then with the roof beams in, I'm not gonna give too much away before the tour, but I think this looks splendid. Guys, I'm not even joking. I've been filming for two hours and we've only done three rooms. We're definitely gonna need a part three, if not a part four. Four. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is go upstairs now and do the master bedroom and the closet. After that, we'll finish off the garden and then we'll see what we're looking like time-wise. So surprisingly, you'd think a castle has about 20 bedrooms. This one only has four. However, when we go into the basement, I was thinking we could obviously add a lot more. <laughs> Look at all those lights. <laughs> but at hand, we're focusing on the master bedroom. So let me just place the wall trims in. This is what I've come up with. Looks very, very splendid. You might have noticed in the intro earlier when I was explaining but this is the bedroom, this is the closet, and this is the bathroom. So I didn't want to have the bathroom too big, but now I think about it, we can actually probably extend it a little. We'll start off with the bedroom, and sometimes this floor really gets on my grooves because it just don't go the right way. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Make this floor go the right way. Ah! Without question, we're going to be using the fancy bed. This, for me, is just my number one bed in buildings like this. Of course, we'll get rid of the original pillow. <laughs> Why'd I say it like that? And then the actual bedding is going to be tiles, I reckon. And then the thing about castles and royal beds is they have so many pillows. It's honestly unbelievable. I, on my bed, legit have 14 pillows on my bed. So in each corner of the room, we're going to put more of those statues. I'm grabbing the lamp from downstairs, but much like in my dream house, we're going to be making custom bedside tables. In 2024, I've been trying to do quite a bit more custom building. I'm quite bad at this kind of thing. The best part about custom building is that you can copy and paste it all. Whoa, I did not realize how big these actually were. That's quite big. And either side, I think we'll have some fresh roses blooming. Then we'll have a couple more dresses, perhaps even a bookcase. We haven't added a bookcase yet, which is ironic because we have a two-story library in this house. That's right, over here in this turret is gonna be like a four-story, actually, a four-story library. That is gonna be so cool whenever we get to that. And comment down below, guys, no cheating. How much do you think this is gonna be worth by the end of this video? My guess is far over a million. And in rooms like this, they'll often have seating areas too. And then up here, I just brought that whole table runner just so I could add like some tea so we can have some tea and scone. And I don't know if you say rug in America, but rug is basically a big blanket. So next up, I'm going to do the bathroom, mainly because it's very, very small. So in here, we're going to have the antique bathtub. This can actually stay golden. It is beautiful golden. I'm going to snatch some of the wall trims from this room, place them all around here. Why not add its own personal archway into the bathtub and surround it by some fancy plants? And I am going to add a shower in here as well, even though we are, of course, going to have a separate shower. And then here can be those bowl sinks. And just like kind of tucked underneath, we'll have the stools so you can pull them out if you fancy. And then a bathroom mat to finish. So next we have the closet. Now I'm going to be channel channel channeling. I was going to say. I'm going to be channeling Chanel from Scream Queens. I don't know how many of you guys would have watched that. I highly recommend you do it. It's so funny. I mean, look at her closet. It's stunning, isn't it? And the reason I didn't make this the bathroom, guys, is because this is going to have so many bathrooms, but it's only going to have one big closet, and I wanted to make it count. So we're going to start with this. Obviously, everything looks better in a corner. <laughs> that should be, like, my tagline for this castle. Anywho, we'll then have this kind of continue out the side here. <laughs> And oh, my money! <laughs> what the hell? 
happened? Okay, money aside though, just walking in here feels like I've just walked into the Queen's Palace. I guess we've run out of money. In the description of my last video, I did say series. So with that, the building of part two of the castle series is done. And let's go look around. So just before we look at my new gorgeous home, the value ended up being, guys, who do you think is right? 1.5 million. I'm gonna have to hop straight back to fast food worker when I'm done filming this. <laughs> And just before we tour, if you guys really do want part three, like and subscribe and comment that you want it because I'm only going to do it if you guys really want it. You guys have seen the exterior so many times. So we're just going to be going straight in today. Although I think it is important to notice like how the interior has enhanced this front bit. Room number uno, the grand entryway. I honestly feel like this is Buckingham Palace or something. It is a castle after all, so it's not surprising. This floor was one of the best ideas ever. I but it definitely looks nice. And then as we go up the stairs, the illusion's a bit ruined because obviously we haven't done the upstairs hallway yet. While we're up here, oh, while we're up here, let's go into the bedroom. I'm gonna have to do a bit of parkour, guys. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on rainbow speed run. Whoosh! I did it! Whoa! And that has taken us in to the master bedroom. So this bookcase, why is this one of my favorite parts? But the main thing is obviously over here. So the bed is massive. I tried not to fill up the room too much because there's nothing worse than too much of a busy room. The good thing about using a comforter is that it then gets rid of all the pillows when you sleep. Imagine getting this view out your bedroom window every morning, just the back of your palace. And eventually this will be another balcony. Through here is the bathroom. And it's simple but effective. It really is this panel that does the trick for me. And then obviously the room that bankrupted us at the end, the royal closet. This closet is the most precious thing in my life. And it really does feel royal. It is stunning. And we didn't get to finish it, but I will finish this room off camera. Yeah, and then a balcony over the courtyard as well. This is giving Romeo and Juliet. I feel like Romeo is gonna climb up here. So if we go downstairs now, try and parkour again. <laughs> the grand kitchen. Now, once again, we've got holes in the ceiling. We've got glitchy roofs. That is because this castle is always gonna have mistakes until the very last room. But we kind of have like the kitchen starts over here and and then it kind of moves over this area. We obviously have a door into that courtyard. So the closet's above the kitchen. We have every appliance you could ever need. And no, I ain't going to work. Actually, I probably should. I got bills coming up soon. And then obviously the closet, which will, the closet, the pantry, which will probably fill up with lots of food. And then the dining room, very glitchy, but very stunning. Now, if we do more episodes, this is what the library is going to be. Just thought I'd show you that. But if we go to the right, we have our final room. The, the Great Hall is a masterpiece. I honestly feel like I'm in an episode of The Crown or something. This looks so nice. From the chairs to the piano, we'd be served our food, sitting in our seat, looking out over the glorious palace. I do hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you had fun and want part three. Thanks to everyone who watched it, and I'll see you all next episode.